Hey, what's going on guys, Darius here and welcome to a new tutorial and in this tutorial we will be learning to do something like this. Now this is um, some really nice artwork from uh, Firewatch and it's a new upcoming game and you can check it out at firewatchgame.com. Now I'm not sp sponsored by them or, or anything, I'm just uh, trying to teach you how um, how this thing goes. This is just a great example of how the lasso tool in Photoshop is just an amazing tool and you can do something uh, so simple yet so so cool. So I'm not sure who the artist is but he did a great job. This is very basic and it's mostly just about selecting things and uh, filling them with color. Uh, we're going to learn some new stuff in Photoshop CC like uh, generating trees and using them as brushes so we don't have to hand draw all the trees here. Uh, I'm going to teach you a bit of shading here, you know, on the mountains, and uh, yeah, let's see what we got. This is just a great method to get you started, you know, uh, get your art blood pumping, and to just have some fun, you know, make something creative. Things don't have to be that complicated to be amazing. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is make a new file. So file new, and you can just uh, select the width and the height that you want. I went for wallpaper size, you know, my wallpaper size. Uh, Pixels, make sure it's uh, pixels, you know, uh, RGB color, background colors doesn't matter because we're going to change that anyway, 8-bit, uh, and okay, and you're going to have that. Uh, right here I have already one prepared, you know, and I'm going to use my crop tool here, crop tool, you know, to just make it a bit, bit smaller, press enter, and uh, this is going to be my canvas. I'm going to fill it with uh, the background color, like in the image. The first thing that we need to do ha now, you know, uh, creative-wise, is uh, to get some colors. And uh, we're I'm going to take the colors from this image. It has a really nice and uh, warm feel to it. I like the values here. I like everything going on. So if I click on this uh, tiny color block here, I get this color picker here and I can just uh, click on whenever I want you know and it will take the color here so I click on the first color here and I add to swatches and when you, once you click this button you can name your color and it will add it here in the swatches panel I already did this so first click the image uh, click on, yeah, on the color on the image then add to swatches then click on the next step and uh, add to swatches on the next step add to swatches and see how it's getting lighter and lighter and lighter as we go further back because we're sampling colors from this image um, there's also all online tools you know that you get your color, color palette from uh, the image I'm sorry <laughs> my mouth is a bit dry <laughs> um, and you, you can just sample the colors with that one you can see uh, and download the palette um, so I have them here uh, this is the first one and it goes in a row, you know, from uh, darker to brighter. I'm going to change my background color right now, you know. This is the background, my background layer, it's all white. I'm going to pick this one, the last color, which is the, um, the background color in this image. And now we can already start with our, um, with our mountains and stuff here. So let's get started. You're going to have to grab your uh, lasso tool and let me just grab my tablet really quick. There we go. Now I'm on my tablet. Uh, you can also use the mouse, obviously. Uh, this doesn't require much skill, so <laughs> go for it. And um, as in the image, you see that there's various sections, you know, and each uh, section is on a different, uh, different layer. So the, dark, the darkest one here is on one layer and it's it's in front because it's the one in focus you know and as it goes further away there's this atmosphere you know that makes things uh, have some depth you know and it slowly fades away sort of like when you're looking at some mountains and they're all blue and hazy you know so this ha this haze this fog is kind of covering up the details you know so you're not exactly seeing the details on the mountain um, so yeah let's just uh, start by making the first layer make a new layer here there's a new layer button here and just start making uh, so like shaky kind of shapes here you know this is gonna be your frontal shape there we go and now just move it around here and there you go uh, you have a selection make sure uh, 
that you select your paint bucket tool now pick the darkest color you know that you sample from the image and click here there you go there, there you go now you can also click here select deselect or press ctrl and d on the keyboard and we have our first uh, layer here so for the next step we have to make another layer but this time layer number two is going to be under layer number one uh, so we don't actually go over uh, this darker one so just do the same process just select like a shaky uh, kind of mountain e shape you know there we go doesn't that have to be perfect and just select the bottom area and we have another selection bucket tool and now we select the next color and there we go this is the next uh, color that we added to our shape now we repeat the process with the others just like this just going to do this again let me just make it a bit more precise you know a bit more edgy there we go there we go just slowly and select the bottom area and fill it with the next color that you saved in your swatches now you have a lot of colors you know you can this can be green for example you can make a green forest a green landscape uh, you can also move your landscape you know up and down you know the height you can change it right now it's a bit smaller here let me just make it a bit wider there we go press enter and gonna move it a bit down and save I like that and I'm just making new layer and do the same process we don't have many of these to go so I'm just going to move these up and down a bit you know so uh, they fade out so let me just grab layer two just put it a bit down and layer number three two there we go so it's a bit lower you know I want a uh, pretty low horizon line and now we can pass on to layer four and just start and grab our lasso tool and do the next step again there we go I'm gonna start from here now there we go and there we go I'm gonna start making it a bit bigger like here just a bit jaggedy you know really important there we go select the area and fill it with the next color let's see is it this one or is it this one okay it's this one so that looks pretty nice uh, I really like the result uh, let me see if I can change something I feel like these three lines are a bit too uh, too much like the same you know so I'm gonna grab layer two and I'm just going to uh, add a bit of detail here just gonna make it a bit higher and I'm going to grab my brush tool let me just reset my brushes here there we go so we have our default brushes brushes <laughs> and I'm going to hold alt and sample the color make it a bit bigger and just fill it in just going to grab my lasso tool again by pressing L and just do the same uh, changes you know with the other layers like layer 3 I want to cut from it you know there we go so it's not like the others just delete or you can add a layer mask if you want to but I don't feel like it's necessary these are just uh, filled in shapes so uh, that looks pretty nice I'm quite satisfied with it okay now to add the last layer of these planes there we go uh, let me just select this area there we go gonna go a bit under with these a bit jagged just like that and gonna go a bit higher with this there we go select the area and leave it and I'll just fill it with the color there we go let me just change the color here uh, was it this one I think it was this one yep that one now we got a pretty nice landscape going on uh, let's add some mountains let's check out uh, some trees let me see if we can do some changes around here you know because uh, we can always do revisions there we go I want to erase part of this uh, frontal the darkest you know layer there we go 
I wanted to have some variation and just delete that and there we go we had some nice variation going on there very nice I like it okay now let's pass on to the mountains in the background so which tool are we going to use for the mountains you guessed it the lasso tool now mountains have a shape like this like a very triangular shape so we're gonna make a new layer and going to try to keep the triangular shape going on but still make it a bit jagged you know so it has that texture to it that detail so just like this there we go and we're gonna probably do something like this here you know continuation and there we go this is our mountain shape and we're going to grab our color here and fit it in there we go and oops there's something wrong here the mountain seems to blend with my fifth layer that means I skipped the color so I'm going to grab layer number three which is the layer that uh, doesn't have the right color and I'm going to click on this icon here so I'm going to teach you in case it happens to you this is the lock transparent pixels icon see that how there's a lock there next to your layer that means you can only color inside of the layer so layer number three this is my layer number three here I'm going to be the, pick this color here there we go and fill it in and see now it makes more sense uh, and I'm going to do the same with the fourth there we go that should be the color and this makes more sense now there we go and this should be number five and number six should be this one the mountains oops let me just lock and there you go now that makes obviously more sense and I'm feeling it more let me just add some more mountains you know I'm gonna unlock this uh, gonna grab my lasso tool you know just add some more mountains here don't be shy with your mountains there we go another shape there uh, make sure that if you want to make more selections you know without it disappearing you have to click on the second icon here on top so now let's add more mountains in the background there we go you can add some detail you know you don't have to be shy about your detail add some mountains here you know just leave it like that there we go and now we're going to grab our brush tool or your uh, paint bucket tool gonna make it bigger and just fit it in with the color that I want there we go just gonna brush them in and there you have it we have our mountains in the background let's pass on to uh, shading on the mountains so for shading we're still going to use the lasso tool but this time we're going to make a new layer above our mountains layer right click and create a clipping mask and uh, just like locking transparent pixels uh, you can only work inside of the mountain layer so uh, if we if we make a shape outside it will still stay inside of the mountains uh, I'm just going to unlock this and let's grab our lasso tool and now we're going to select this color here which is the brighter mountain thingy color and we're just going to select a side you know uh, where we know that the colors that the light sorry it's coming and sitting the mountain you know there we go and just put some color in and see the mountain now has a, uh, a a light just hitting it and we're going to do the same here for the others you know make it a bit jagged just going to select them all here there we go and this one here is gonna have some small something small there this one's gonna have some here there we go and this one too and there we go bit of a jack in this there we go and just just brush them in just brush them all in there we go and as you can see your mountains now have some awesome awesome lighting uh, let me just fix this one here I don't like how it's curved a bit I'm just gonna zoom in and I'm just going to go into detail a bit you know like this just gonna brush it back in and I'm still using the lasso tool nothing special and I'm just brushing in with the brush tool there we go 
your mountains now have some really nice shading. And now we're going to make a layer in the background and this is going to be our clouds and we're going to use the lasso tool, you guessed it. And we're going to use this light color here, there we go. We're going to select that and now just make so shapes like this, you know, in the background. There we go. These are going to be your clouds and just brush them in. Just brush in the clouds and there you go, you have your clouds. There we go. Obviously you can do this more accurate, I'm just trying to go for speed and hopefully retain quality here you know <laughs> just gonna go here and put some of these clouds there we go we have some nice clouds in the background we got our nice landscape here uh, now let's pass on to the trees so for the trees you don't actually uh, need to go and download some brushes because you can make your own in Photoshop CC if you don't have Photoshop Creative Cloud CC then uh, feel free to uh, just go and search DeviantArt, for example, and just download some brushes. Uh, let's make a new layer, since this is Photoshop CC. <laughs> and then make a selection with your rectangular marquee tool. Select the whole area. And then um, right-click. And then fill. And here, select pattern. And then it uh, doesn't matter what custom pattern you have. And the blending mode normal, opacity 100. Um, then go to scripted patterns and then select tree and click OK. And you're going to get into a panel now where you can actually make your own trees. Now I set here, I'm, I'm just going to disable these for a second. They are disabled by default, you know. You can make any trees you want. You can, there's sakura trees, there's uh, ficus, there's uh, shrubs, palm trees, whatever you want. For this, I'm going to use a pine tree, yeah? I'm going to use the pine tree. And the good thing is that each time you generate a tree, it's different, you know? It's random. Now, uh, you need to make a brush, so it has to be all black, you know? So click on Use Custom Color for Leaves and select Pitch Black. And the same thing for the branches. Now we got the silhouette of a tree. Um, and now just click on OK and wait. You can also change the light direction, but that doesn't affect a silhouette, you know? Uh, so just click OK and wait. Now this is going to take a bit. Um, and just see you in a second. OK, there we go. There's our tree. Uh, it worked out really, really well. And uh, now we need to turn this into a brush. We need to have a, uh, a white background, so just make a new background on top of your original background, a new layer, sorry, on top of your original background layer, and just fill it in with white, pure white. And uh, now just hide by clicking on the eyes of the layer, everything else. Now go to Edit and Define Brush Preset. And there you go, it gives you a brush. You have a brush. If I go into my brush tool right now, I have it. There we go, the last one. I can I can actually just paint trees now. I can select any color I want and just paint trees. You know, I can put some here, some here. And uh, this is really a time saver. Now we can delete this tree, we don't need it anymore. And uh, just unhide all the layers and make a new layer on top. And this is going to be dedicated to, um, to make, we're going to make a new layer, you know, for each tree that we make here. Not, not each tree, each, uh, trees section, you know, because each of these layers will have their own trees with their own colors. So it's kind of, it's not going to work out if we make everything on, on one single layer. So uh, we're going to start by making a new layer, you know, and this is on the first uh, area here, the front area, you know. We're going to hold Control and select these and Control and G to group them. So this is going to be one, you know, and this is going to be the trees trees there we go and uh, let's make this brush smaller you know you can also right click here and just make it smaller and bigger and uh, now we're going to play a bit with the uh, shape dynamics and the, the general options of the brush you know so um, it fits so we can uh, just put it in nicely and smoothly because if I were to just click now, you know, let me just sample the color by holding Alt. I'm going to sample this color. This works, you know, I can just click around, but this is going to take a lot of time. So we need some scattering, you know, 
thankfully Photoshop does this really easily so uh, we just go on to our uh, brush settings thingy here and uh, we click on the spacing and just drag it you know make a bit more space and uh, go on shape dynamics and put the size jitter to about 100 and um, there we go and now we are just going to start brushing around and uh, just fill the area in with trees there we go you can definitely see the size jitter just uh, kicking in making smaller and bigger trees and there we go uh, you can also delete some trees you know you can grab your eraser tool there we go oh by the way when you you don't want to do this every time because if you select another brush it's going to reset the settings so uh, just go here which your brush selected, you know, and then new brush preset, capture brush size and preset. Okay, there we go. Um, you don't have to capture the size if you don't want to. You can just make it bigger later, you know. Um, now just grab your eraser tool and uh, just click on the brush that you just made and just start erasing what you don't need, you know. There we go. Where you don't want trees to be you know make some space maybe in between there we go over there and grab your brush again and just brush it there we go i'm gonna make a smaller one right about here you know there's not just big trees there's also small ones There you have it. So the first area, it's it's done. Now we can make a new layer on top of layer number two. Hold control, select them and group them. Group number two. This is gonna be our trees. And we're going to do the same again. Now I'm going to speed up the process a bit, uh, but you guys know the drill. It's the same thing. So I'll see you in a bit. check that out that looks fantastic I am quite satisfied with the result uh, if you find some imperfections then feel free to just uh, fix them like this dot here you know just uh, grab your eraser just grab a normal one and just uh, grab this one just erase them you know and it definitely feels like a forest it definitely feels like something uh, that I would want you can also for example add a cabin somewhere uh, or you know some fire someone's making something maybe some smoke around you know some white smoke coming and going up here for example um, and this guy he did an awesome job I, I like how he made this uh, ranger watch tower thingy going on here uh, you can also add these birds here there are bird brushes bird brushes uh, online you can find them easily you know add um, and anything that you want basically um, I want to make these trees a bit bigger here in the front so if I'm going to change that I'm just gonna make a bigger brush you know like this and then I'm going to just put it here, you know, make some bigger trees so it stands out more, you know, so we're covering more area. There we go, just like that. Uh, there we go, gonna make a big one here, you know, there we go. Because I really like, like, a lot of, uh, a lot of trees, a lot of vegetation. Uh, you can add more in the front too and that looks pretty nice i'm pretty satisfied with the result 
Now you can obviously add more vegetation, more variations, you can add some more lighting if you want to the mountains, make it brighter, make it different colors, make it however you want. You can add people, for example, you can add planes, birds, uh, you can make nighttime and just like give it a blue tone, for example. You know, just uh, enjoy and have fun. You don't have to be super accurate with the lasso tool. Actually, it's uh, pretty nice when uh, you just experiment and stuff just comes out. So yeah, just have fun and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. Check out the links in the description for all your graphic needs. Also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook where I post my recent work like concept art and uh, recent manipulations that do not make it in a video. Alright, see you guys later.